all know brushing your teeth is important, but there's a lot more to it than just your basic brushing. Good morning. I'm actually here again with dental <laughs> hygienist Louise Goodman, and she's got some tips and tricks on how to properly floss those pearly whites. First of all, good morning. Good morning. And you know, you gave us, I thought that was a really good tip um, the last time you were on the show, is the, the ones that were on the stick, the flossers that were on the mm -hmm. stick, which I feel like is something many people commonly use. You were saying that's really not the best option for people. No, it's not the best option. You don't have a lot of control, and there's only a little bit of floss on there. And the most important thing about flossing is to make sure you're using the correct fingers because if you don't use the correct fingers, you can't get past the corner of your mouth. So when you floss, never wrap it around your index finger. Just take your two middle fingers because they're the longest fingers and they're gonna be your knitting needles. And you need a piece that's from the tip of your finger to your shoulder and then you put a piece around there. That gives you the floss you need. And as you go between each two teeth, you end up advancing your floss. So at the end of your flossing, you're gonna have all your dirty or already used floss on the other finger. That's actually a really good tip. I didn't even know that. Most people would just pop it in between and it will definitely pop out a poppy seed, but it's not flossing. Flossing is when you actually go in there and you're actually cleaning below the gum line. We're gonna pretend this is your tooth, this is your gum line, and you have to get down all the way to your gum line. If all you do is pop it, you're not going far enough down. So you have to go around, make a little C so that you can get underneath the gum and clean it and bring the debris up. If you don't, if you just pop it, you're not gonna clean there. So eventually you're gonna start losing your, we're gonna pretend this is a gum. You're gonna start losing your gum. And from here to here is your root. And as you lose the gum, you lose the bone support. And that's why teeth become loose and everything. I sort of say gum disease is sort of like termites. You have termites in your mouth, but you're not aware of it. You don't feel it. You don't Ooh. see it. Just like in a house. You don't know until the damage is done. Right. So flossing has to be done every single night. Remember, teeth are like dishes. And if you don't wash the plate at night, you've got a hard plate of cement on there. But you can remove all of that food in between if you do it at night while it's still soft. It's called plaque. And you can remove it with your dental floss. And talk to me about why is it so important for this to be a daily habit? because it builds up. It just continues to build and build. And when I clean teeth, the, of course the worst part is gonna be the lower, behind the lower front teeth, because that's where your two main salivary glands are. And it's like gluing. When you're sleeping and your mouth is dark and the saliva is not flowing and your tongue is not moving, then all of that plaque, today's soft food, everything you've eaten starts to harden. And once it's hard, you cannot get it off with dental floss. So then we come in and we scrape it off or we use an ultrasonic scaler. And I always tell people it's gonna feel like I'm breaking down the Berlin Wall back there, but you're gonna feel air going from the front to the back of your teeth by you can suck it. When you have a solid wall of cement or tartar back there, you cannot, the gums can't breathe. It's like having splinters and continuing to eat and bite into things. So the gum is pretty lacerated on the inside as opposed to the outside, but the outside gets red and puffy and swollen. And then a lot of times you'll see blood when you spit in the sink. You know, that's all a sign of gum disease. So these are some really important tips, especially for where to really focus on your flossing. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. And if you want to learn more, you can check it out on our website at floss19.com. We're going to have more for you right after this break.